scared? You got nothing to worry about, friend. Don't worry, we're professionals. We're gonna take good care of you. Right. Hey, Ray, I'm all done over here. Just finish things up on my end, too. Listen, I'm not gonna let you fall, okay? And even if you did fall, I'd jump out there and catch you, no sweat. Okay, we're moving out! Oh, 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 oh. Jump out there and catch you? Oh, that is so sweet. You're gonna be that guy's valentine, Ray. <laughs> yeah. Lucky me, huh? This is really turning out to be a hell of a day. Steve, Ray, Volcano's looking angrier all the time, boys. Visibility's dropping fast. We gotta bail out. Get up here, fast! Roger that. Heroes, roll out. It's time for dinner. I'm with you. Let's go. What? No! No! Get out of here! They're gone, Ray! Nothing we can do about it! Now run! You all right? You decided to live a little longer? Yeah, you too, huh? You heard? Nope. Check it out. Tip top. Well, the helicopter's totaled, so we're gonna have to hoof it. We couldn't save them. All those people on the helicopter. You gotta let it go, Damn partner. It. You aren't a superhero. <sighs> you can't save everyone. But... Listen, for now, just concentrate on getting off this mountain. We don't have much time before it erupts again. You know where we are now? I think we're somewhere around this ridge, but... Oh, useless. The eruption's messing with it. So put it away, man. Hey, don't badmouth the compass. <laughs> this is our good luck charm. Yeah, that's great, Steve, but... Hey, I'm serious. It's protected me till now. <laughs> <laughs> Run! It's not safe here! This way! Oh god, my leg! It's broken. I gotta stabilize it. We're out of time, partner. If there's a bigger eruption, the pyroclastic flow is gonna roll right over us. If that happens, we're goners. Look, we can't get out of here until I put a splint on your leg. Oh, oh. Let me treat it first. Sorry to be such a pain in the ass. Forget it. See what it's like being rescued for once. Oh, this definitely has turned out to be one hell of a day. Hey, Ray. I want you to do something for me. If I don't make it, give this to my little sister. It's something for her to remember me by. Hey, quit talking like that. Just in case, Ray. Please.
Listen, I'm all the family she's got left. If anything happens, I want you to look after her, okay? Even if it's just to tell her our stupid high school football stories. All the more reason for you to survive. Besides, does she really want to hear about the time we... I didn't think so. I'm just gonna give it back to you when we reach the foot of the mountain. Your sister gave you this, huh? Yeah. It's been my good luck charm since forever. She was so little when she gave it to me. Little and perfect. She got all the good genes from our parents. Smart, good looking. She's my pride and joy, man. Hey, don't get any ideas, pal. I said look after her and that's it. You hear me? It's gonna be a bad one! We gotta get out of here! Me. You gotta let me go! What? Hell of a day, huh? Steve! Don't take it too hard, okay? It's not your fault! Please, Steve! I, I can't! It's okay, partner. I already told you, we can't save everyone. Uh, no! Uh, you can't! I won't let you! Uh, 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 take care of her, Ray. You hear me? Steve! Now a massive Category 5 hurricane continues to bear down on the East Coast. All citizens in the area are being evacuated as fast as possible, and most cities in the path are now veritable ghost towns. The barometric pressure at Aaron's Eye is now 900 millibars, with wind speeds reaching 158 miles per hour. It's maintaining its force as it tracks northwest and is expected to make landfall in the southeast by dawn tomorrow.
He's here. Hi. Are you Ray? Sorry to get you in here so early in the morning. I'm Special Agent Olsen. Please, have a seat. What do you need me for, sir? Impatient, huh? Raymond Bryce. Currently pushing papers for the Blue Ridge City Crisis Management Division. Former Marine, highly decorated for your service in the Gulf War. You were with the International Rescue Team up to one year ago. But you resigned. After that, you were scouted out by the CMD. You don't usually see people resign from the rescue team. That's not a mistake, right? Right? No mistake. What about it, sir? Around six months ago, a noted seismologist was kidnapped. That's the man in the photo. The results of the investigation indicate that the professor was kidnapped by the remnants of a Marine Special Forces unit that was previously believed wiped out. Their name is Surge. Surge? Never heard of him. They're being led by this man, Haynes, a former colonel. I'll be honest, we have no clue why Surge would kidnap a professor of seismology, but I intend to find out. We have found their hideout in Blue Ridge City. We're requesting the cooperation of the CMD in dealing with this. However, there's another reason we specifically asked for you. You specifically requested me? The professor's assistant was also kidnapped. She's currently enrolled in West Coast Tech. Her name is Lisa Hewitt. She's the younger sister of Steve Hewitt your former partner in the IRT. I'm going in with your team. Look, you're only here because of the assistant and to serve as the CMD liaison. Let someone else handle that! You said it yourself. There's a reason that I was specifically requested. I'm going. How do I face meeting her? Well, what do I say? Ready to breach. Roger that. Olsen here. First, determine whether the two kidnapped victims are in the building. Do you do that? I don't want to see any fireworks. Roger. Moving in. Shit, they were ready for us. This is infiltration team. Base, do you read? We are meeting heavy resistance. Repeat, heavy resistance. God damn it, if it gets too hot, fall back. Those are ex-special forces in there. They're not gonna mess around. Any sign of the two kidnapped victims? Can't tell. Wait, they're here. I see both of them. But we're pinned down. God damn it. What do you think, Steve? Now's the time. This is Ray. I'm going in. Are you nuts? You're just one man. What can you do? Pay attention. You might learn something. Lisa! Who are you? Hold it right there! What's your story? You don't look like an SRT man to me. Ray, could it be? Never you mind who it is, little darling. Anyone in our way gets eliminated. 
Here it comes! Impossible! It's too soon! Is it over? This is Gord. Abandon the premises. Move to Rodney. Roger that. Steve, now Lisa. What am I gonna do? Lisa, do you know him? It's the first time we met face to face. He's... he's the man who killed my brother. Cannot pursue. Target has entered the city. Roger. Transmitting target image to all units deployed throughout uh. the city. Terminate target with extreme prejudice on site. Colonel's unit is making its move soon. Eradication of all mission threats is priority one. It doesn't look like any of the containers are damaged. We can move out, as scheduled. Start moving them. I'm on foot the rest of the way. Oh, 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 hurry! Run! We've got to get out of here! Mayor, it's not safe anymore. We've got to get out of here! What good is a mayor who would abandon an injured citizen? In times like this. We have to help each other. But, sir... You want me to stop, so that you can get out of here, correct? You don't have to worry about me. Save yourself if you must. Huh? <laughs> 
and let me help. You sure? <laughs> I'm from crisis management. It's my job. Then help me, please. You're safe now. Just relax. Could you please take him to West Park for me? No. I'm really sorry, but I can't. I'm after an armed group. For some reason, they're deploying troops into the city. This man will be in danger if he stays with me. An armed group? I thought it was the military showing up for disaster relief. I'll explain later. You need to get out of here. Now. I see. All right, I'll take him. You get to West Park as fast as you can. Yes, sir. Okay. Come on. Oh. Oh, no. Dead end. Holy shit! Look at that! Firestorms. Damn, man. If we stay here, we're dead. Somebody! Help me clear this way! Come on, people! We either work together or we're gonna burn together! Damn it! Leave this to me. You secure the escape route. Are you sure? Go to it. Contact with them. Are you ready for this, Mr. President? Patch it through. This is Haynes, commander of the Surge Special Forces Unit. Have you confirmed our acquisition of the nuclear warheads? Yes, it's confirmed. Then I'll give you our demands. First, you will prepare to deliver $200 million. $200 million? Half of that will be given to the families of dead Surge members as reparations, while the remaining half will be sent to us by a soon-to-be-designated method. Second, the honor of those of us who were branded as traitors will be restored by allowing the public access to classified files and exposing the truth. We have already equipped the nuclear weapons with detonation devices. If you do not comply with our demands, we will detonate somewhere in the United States. Do you understand? <sighs> Mr. President, do you understand? Colonel Hayes, 
You know perfectly well how we're going to respond to these threats. And you know what preparations we've made. When we deploy the nuclear emergency oh, search by team... by all means, attempt to activate NEST in the middle of post-earthquake chaos. But don't forget that Surge specialized in running missions under unique conditions. Are you saying you plan for this disaster? This conversation is over. We will transmit the method for delivering the money to us. A natural disaster. And a nuclear threat. Does anyone have any idea how we deal with this? <sighs> this is going to be a very long day. You're insane! Threatening the government? Demanding money? If we'd sent out a warning, we could have saved so many lives! True. It was thanks to you that we were able to have advance warning of a major earthquake. However, you didn't predict it would happen today, did you? At the very least, you predicted we'd have a bit more time. Even so, we could have at least warned those people. <laughs> could we? If we had announced it, and the quake hadn't occurred, we'd have created a full-scale panic that likely would have cost millions in economic and infrastructural damage. Would that have been a better course of action? What do you think, Professor? Big one's coming. Give me courage, partner. Unit Alpha, we've encountered hostiles. We are engaging. Evans here. The tsunami is approaching your location. Deal with the hostiles quickly. And don't you dare lose that warhead. Roger. Where's Lisa? Why did you take her? You again? <laughs> well, I am amazed. Answer me! Oh, I thought you were after the nukes! But you want the girl? <laughs> Nukes. Now, don't you worry, boy. She's with the Colonel in a nice, safe place. And we got no intention of harming her. So use your head, kid. Just go back where you came from. We won't have to put any holes in you. Sorry, but I just can't do that. I made a promise. Light him up! Look at that! See that? Five minutes, kid. Five minutes till that tsunami hits here. We got that long to settle this. Fine, you're on. Talk! Where's Lisa? What are you people after? Well, well, well. Pretty good, ain't you? Either that or we've gotten soft. There ain't that many veterans left in the unit. Most are money-grubbing mercenaries now. God damn it! Tell me where she is! You don't get it at all, do you? 
You got no idea why we're fighting. You think I'm gonna beg for my life with you, boy? Damn it. Please. Just do what you're gonna do and be done with it. A nuclear warhead. Shit. Won't budge. What's that? It must be the detonator. Huh. Oh my god. Uh. Pay him back for what they did to us, Colonel. That was a monster tsunami. No avoiding it. Not even with all my experience as a pilot. You're the pilot? You're gonna pay for this, pal. You're getting a burial at sea. Attention carefully! This is the bomb! This is the detonator! With a simple push of the button, boom! If you shoot me, boom! We go sky high! So come on, pal! Shoot me! <laughs>
sworn. Oh, man. I really thought I bit the bullet this time. Mr. Mayor! Mm. You're still alive. You? Well, I passed out in that fire, knowing it was the end. And then I felt hands. Lots of them. All those people. They saved me. I'm not surprised. <laughs> nice to see my secretary stuck around. <laughs> the city. The city is destroyed. So many people dead. God, we've all sacrificed so much. Honestly, it just breaks my heart. But I believe a city only dies when the hearts of its survivors die. As long as our spirits stay alive, we will rebuild. And what about you? How goes your case with that armed group? I'm still after them. When the relief troops arrive, contact the government. Somehow, these guys have gotten their hands on nukes. You're sure of this? Yeah. Unfortunately, the nuclear warhead I saw was swallowed up by the tsunami. It shouldn't be a danger as long as it can't be triggered externally. I hope. I understand. Communications are down, but I'll contact the government as soon as I find a way. If you can, contact Special Agent Olson from the FBI office, too. He knows the details of this case. He didn't seem like the sort of guy who'd go to an early grave, so I've got a feeling he's still kicking around. Gotcha. You take care of yourself as well. Sure. This is Evans, Ground Unit Alpha. Have you completed your mission? Your unit is gone. Who is this? I've neutralized your ground unit and secured possession of the warhead's detonator. Now let me speak with your leader. This is Colonel Haynes, the commander of Surge. You will release your hostage. Do that and I'll let you have the detonator. There's more at stake here than hostages. I don't care! Let her go! And I'll give you what you want. Alright. There's an old geothermal power plant on Mount Rosalia. Bring the detonator. Alone. We'll make the exchange there. I'll be there as soon as I can. Are you sure about this? You're telling them where we are? It doesn't matter. Either way, in this situation, he has no way of making contact with the outside. Ray... Why? Why are you doing this now? Mr. President, the tsunami has destroyed Blue Ridge City. Military units have already been dispatched for relief operations, but because the surrounding areas took a lot of damage from the earthquake, they're having a hard time reaching the victims. Can we send Navy vessels in? Yes, sir. Once the tsunami recedes, we can start bringing in relief to the victims on the coast. Good. Tell the crews to save as many people as possible. Understood, sir. On another note, sir, we're, uh, we're having difficulties deploying Nest into the area. Just as Colonel Haynes expected. Mr. President, more bad news. Are you ready for this, sir? What now? A report from a geological survey station. They say Mount Rosalia is showing signs of a major volcanic eruption.
You brought the detonator? I've hidden it. Where's Lisa? Inside. Bring her here. As soon as I verify she's unharmed, I'll hand over the detonator. Very well. But first, indulge me with a question. Who are you? My name's Ray. I work for the Blue Ridge City Crisis Management Division. And that's why you're after us. No, I've got my own reason. Hey, kill me and you won't get the detonator! Easy, son. You act as if we have only one. The detonator you're carrying is for the one that sank out at sea. It's no use to us now. I never intended to make a deal with you. The only reason I called you here was to eliminate an obstacle to my troops' activities. <sighs> I guess I fell for it, didn't I? <sighs> Definitely can't save everyone. Reminds me of Mount Aguilas. It's not something I like seeing. I remember that, and I have no desire to see it again either. Looks like we both have bad memories. Ray, was it? Come along quietly. Surrender. How can I trust you? You don't really have a choice, do you? Screw this, just shoot him! It erupted? You think the earthquake triggered it? This area was due for an eruption, but perhaps the quake caused the bedrock to collapse. That well, may have... whatever. Let's get out of here. There's no guard in no, here now. No, Lisa, I'd only slow you down. Escape by yourself. No, Professor, there's no way I'm leaving you behind. Come with me. You're staying with us for the time being. The earthquake's over. You don't need us anymore. You're, uh, our insurance policy. Or hostages, if you like that better. If you stay here, you'll die. The Colonel's correct, Lisa. Let's go. Colonel, leave this to me. Ray! Leave me alone! Don't be stupid! Sorry, but I promised. I'm Major Evans, Surge of Second in Command. Come out from there, Ray! This unexpected eruption is forcing us to abandon this position. That unfortunate event and your meddling have ruined a very carefully laid out plan. Care to tell me why? It doesn't matter! Now stand aside! Look, Ray, you really have no idea why we're doing all this. Do you really think we orchestrated a complex operation like this because we want money? We're not the bad guys here. I don't care what you're after. I just want the girl! Well, no matter. I'll just keep you here until the helicopter's ready. And while I'm at it, maybe I'll kill you. Damn it! <laughs> Guess this match is a draw, Ray. No problem. It bought us enough time. Can't wait to do it again. <laughs> wait! Ah! 
Hey, in case you're wondering, we're headed for Banesville next. I look forward to seeing you there, Ray. What's he playing at? I better clear out. Made it this far, and now what? Huh? Don't tell me. No. <laughs> Shelter out of work. I doubt the flow will make it here. <sighs> Don't tell me. And experts are predicting that this eruption could cause a volcanic winter causing temperatures all across the Northern Hemisphere to plunge. This effect could be felt for years, with food production being hit... And apparently, the pyroclastic blast reached the West Coast and destroyed all the Navy ships we had standing by for relief efforts. It can't be. Earthquake? Tsunami? Volcanic eruption? Damn nuclear threat is practically secondary at this point. No. This country's resources are already strained. If the city is attacked with a nuclear weapon, the chaos would be more than this government can control. Worst case scenario, I believe we're actually witnessing the utter destruction of our country. Somebody do something! Colonel. What the hell is all this? Nobody said shit about any volcanoes erupting. Our base was swallowed by lava. That amateur kills dozens of our guys, and I have a feeling the whole plan's been shot to hell. We are gonna get paid, right? Shut up, you lunatic. <laughs> is that your legendary Surge pride showing? Come on, Colonel. We only signed on with you guys for the money. If we don't get the money, where do you think that leaves us, sir? You stupid! The eruption will have thrown the government into more chaos than it can handle. They'll need to settle our demands at once. We still have the advantage. Am I wrong? No. Sir. We can't save everyone. I told you, we can't save everyone. Steve! No! Well, partner, I still want to save him. Wanted to save him. 
Save you, save Lisa, save everyone. Probably a hopeless dream to start with. I can barely save my own life. I'm alive. You gotta be kidding me. Lungs feel like they're on fire. <coughs> uh. <coughs> Looks like I avoided a direct hit. I've had close calls, but never this close. <coughs> I guess I'll <coughs> have to walk. Looks like I get to die on foot. <coughs> this you sure sure <clears throat> I really needed that thank you I'm Ray did you save me mm-hmm I'm Iris my mom and dad haven't come back yet so I was watching for them out the window. I saw you collapse, so... I see. Thanks again. Mom and Dad are all right. It's okay. I'm sure you'll see them again. <sighs> I can't say this house is safe. If it rains, the chances are good that it'll get hit with a volcanic debris flow. I've got to take her with me and run, but... Do I want to be burdened with her life? Can I even save her? Hey, what's this? <laughs> this? I got it a long time ago with my teammates when I joined up. That's a good luck charm. You see, we... Well, we wanted to save a lot of people. I was on a rescue team up until a little while ago. That's cool. No, it really wasn't cool at all. At least that's how I see it now. Listen, Iris, it may be dangerous for you to stay here. Your mom and dad won't be able to make it back through this ash anyway. Come with me, and we'll get to a safe place. But it's dangerous outside, right? Don't worry. I'll protect you. I was on a rescue team, remember? I promise. Okay. I understand. Good. Now, do you have a car? Yeah, my mom's is in the garage. Wait here. I'll go check it out, okay? Let's go, Iris. <laughs> Don't worry. You'll come back, okay? Okay.
It's starting to rain. Not good. The rain's black. Yeah. At least it's making the air a lot easier to breathe. Come on, Iris. I wonder if my mom and dad are okay. I bet they're fine. I'm sure they're worrying about you, too. Yeah. You rescue people, right? Will you be able to save everyone? Yeah. I'll save everyone. I promise. Now, come on. Right. Save everyone? How? Can I really do that? Ah! Iris? Iris! Iris! Oh no! The Lahar! It's been raining even longer upstream! Damn! I gotta keep my focus! Iris! Save everyone! Iris! No! You okay? You really are great, Ray. You saved me! I did, didn't I? I guess I can save some people after all. Come on, Iris. All right, Steve. I'm ready now. Look, Iris, I can use my satellite phone now. Great! So who do we call? The police? 911? Ah, I don't think either of those will be working right now. So what do we do? Ah, I can think of one person to call. Oh, come on. Thanks to that, we know where they are. Are you sure Evans was telling the truth about this hideout in Bainesville? I don't know. Honestly, it's a 50-50 shot. We don't have any other leads. True. And that's why I'm sending you. I need you guys to take this girl to Blue Ridge Center. She's been through a lot. So take care of her for me. Iris, that helicopter will take you to a safe place. I guess this is goodbye. But where are you going? You said you'd stay with me, Ray. These people are going to help you find your mom and dad. <laughs> I'm sorry. I want to stay with you. But there are other people still in need of help. I know. It's your job to save people, right? Yeah. I guess it is. I hope we see each other again, Ray. We will. I promise. Surge used the confusion of the earthquake to steal three decommissioned nuclear warheads. 
What a nightmare. And? Why are they threatening the government? For money? Surge was once known as the proudest Special Forces team we had. They were apparently in a South American country to train anti-government guerrillas, and together, they were heroes who fought against tyranny. Then one day, the U.S. started supporting that country's government, and the order came down to wipe out the guerrillas. The Surge team disobeyed the order, and soon the local government and U.S. forces surrounded them. As the troops closed in, a nearby volcano erupted, and the entire unit was believed to be wiped out, along with the guerrillas. You get the picture? Yeah, I got it. Well, it makes no difference. We have to get those nukes back. You're right. And we're gonna need your help. It's too risky to send special forces in. Surge would just make good on their threat. But if some renegade with his own personal vendetta were to go in there and cause trouble, they likely wouldn't blow the bombs. That's the scenario. Clear? Yeah, but what do you expect me to accomplish? Do what you can. <laughs> Besides, you'd go after him even if I said not to. <laughs> yeah, I guess I would. We'll arrive in six hours. So get some rest until then. Sure. I think I will. Oh, and one more thing. The Banesville area is in the path of Hurricane Aaron. You can count on heavy rainfall and flooding. So be careful. <sighs> we'll be up on the 16-hour mark soon. Have you started the money transfer? Colonel, as you know, our country is in complete chaos. We need more time to transfer the funds. We've got no time to spare. Execute the transfer at once. I'm telling you, it's impossible. Then responsibility for the destruction of an American city will be yours, Mr. President. Colonel! Wait! In trouble. Number one just cut out on us. Why? Must be the volcanic ash. It spread wider than I thought it would. <laughs> we're already over Bainesville, but it's a little further to the airport. Sorry, but we're gonna have to turn back. Maybe we can try something if we get to a lower altitude. Damn it! All this way just to turn back? <laughs> hey! What are you? Going skydiving. Are you nuts? here. Form headquarters. Good. Looks like this is definitely the place. Colonel, the helicopter carrying the nuclear warhead has arrived in Miami, sir. We still have no reply from the government. Ha. Then let's teach this fool of a president a lesson. Hmm. Colonel, either way, we still have two more nukes. Let's set at least one off. Those idiots will have to do what we want. Hmm. Hey, Colonel. 
You're being awfully quiet Sir, here. The people of Miami have been ordered to evacuate because of the hurricane. Human losses will be minimal. Please make the decision. Prepare to activate the nuclear weapon. There are no guards here now. We can sneak out of this window. They seem serious about using those nukes. I'm going to stay behind and distract them however I can. You go and tell someone where we are. But, Professor, it's too dangerous. Besides, I can't just abandon you. Oh, please. You're the only one who could fit through that little window anyway. And there's no way a man my age could get through this flood. But I... Please, Lisa. If I hadn't been so concerned with saving my own life, they never would have been able to steal those nukes. I want to do what I can. I have to try to stop them. Won't you help me do that? Very well, then. I'll do it. Oh, you two are nothing but trouble. Get going! Have it your way. This time, use handcuffs. Well, hey there, hero. <laughs> Tough guys like you were such fun. It'll be so much more satisfying when I destroy you. Now then, shall we dance? There. Put your hands above your head. Hands above your head. Thanks. You've led us on a merry chase. You gonna kill me? Yeah, I'm gonna kill you, hero. Lucky me, I get the last shot. Look over there, Colonel. You see those kids on the roof? They are going to die unless you do something. You have a helicopter, right? If you order your men to do it, you can save those kids. Let me shut them up for good, Colonel. Colonel, please! Colonel! <clears throat> Colonel! I was told the soldiers of Surge are the proudest there are. What a bunch of crap. Do you have a shred of pride left, or are you lowlifes just shaking down the government for money? Is this really how you want to be remembered? What the hell do you know? My men who died were all fine, proud soldiers. The homeland we fought for turned on us, and good men died in a filthy betrayal your government engineered. We watched our comrades burn to death in a sea of fire, and we swore our revenge. Mark my words, nothing will sway us from that oath. Do not dare insult them. Then please, do the right thing. You're the only one who can save those kids. Colonel.
Send out the helicopter and save those children. Colonel! You son of a- What the hell's wrong with you?! Major, you have your orders. Affirmative, sir. Stand down, soldier. Stand down. Throw this man in there. Thank you, sir. You coward. Colonel, the nuclear detonator is ready. Your order, sir. Colonel! Push the button! What are you waiting for? The government hasn't acceded to our demands. If we back off now, our threats will be meaningless. Please, make the decision. Drop the gun, Banks. Push the button now, sir. If you won't push it, then I will. The mission is over! What? Colonel! You bastard! All of this work and nothing to show for it! I'm not some damn volunteer, you know! The government didn't give in. It was a bluff and they called it. The mission is aborted. Son of a bitch! Didn't anyone teach you to obey your superiors? Colonel? What do you think you're doing? Colonel, it can't end here. It's not over, even if you have to die. What do you want? The money? matter. It's not over yet. Don't you want your reward? We're withdrawing. Grab the last nuke and move out. Lisa! Ray! What are you doing here? and has the key to these handcuffs. Yeah. Okay, hold on. I'll find them and come back. to hang out with us a little longer. We're headed to Port Alex next. It wouldn't be the same without you. <laughs> See you there! You psycho! chance. I'll support you from here, so stand by until reinforcements arrive. I can't do that. 
Of course you'd say that. Okay, then get going after them. That I can do. You'll be here soon. Your plan is finished. Why not just give up? Finished? Nothing's finished. We still have one nuke. We can threaten the government again, or we can set it off and have a nice, flashy explosion. And what would that accomplish? Well, at the very least, it would kill the boiler. The whole calm, devoted follower thing. It was all an act, wasn't it? No, you're wrong. I always respected the Colonel. <sighs> However... I must admit, with all the excitement going on, it does give me a rush. <laughs> Here he comes! Damn it! They were waiting for me! I knew you'd make it, Ray! Where's Lisa? Right here! Okay, now tell him. Forget about me and save yourself. You're the heroine, right? That's your line. Ray! Kill these jerks and save me! Leave it to me. Man, these guys are tough. Sorry we're late. One Special Forces, at your service. You like it? Yeah! Great timing! Ha! <laughs> Glad I could get it to you before you died. This is Alpha Team, in position. Now engaging enemy forces. Good. Go to it. Move out! We've got more important things to do. We'll handle this. Get out of here. I'll cover you. Thanks. storm would come. I did, but I was excited even more. When this mission started, I felt like I did when I was a kid. Earthquakes, tsunamis, eruptions, floods, and now a hurricane? <laughs> and all this was your idea of a good time? Uh, yeah, I didn't really care about the mission. I just wanted the fun to last. <laughs> I don't want it to end yet. You sick bastard! <laughs> Say whatever you want. Uh, Helpless humans can do nothing uh, before this natural violence except acknowledge it! If you fear it, then show it respect! Because every disaster uh, is like a gift from God! Uh, uh, you're wrong, Evans! Humans aren't helpless! 
We can stand together! We have the power to save each other! Ah. What the hell? The eye. Time to finish this movie. Here's the part where the hero kicks the bad guy's ass. Come on. It's over. Time for this plutonium packed firecracker to go off, Ray. No, don't. We'll watch the greatest show on earth together from front row center. <clears throat> Over your dead body. Colonel! You're still alive! My subordinate was sloppy. Sir! He's activated the warhead! Is there any way to stop it? What Evans dropped was the remote switch. You can still disarm the bomb manually. What's the disarmament procedure? I'll uh, talk you through it. Take this and go. The bomb is in the cargo bay at the bottom of the ship. Now hurry! Got it! Ray! Lisa, wait for me here. I have something I need to give you. an explosion somewhere. Just as Evans planned. Listen carefully. I think this ship is sinking. I'll get ready to abandon ship up here. You disarm the bomb. Got it? Gotcha. open. How much time is left? Ah, uh, I'd rather not say. All right. Do exactly as I tell you. It stopped. Well done. I set the switch. Now go! Uh, hurry up, Colonel! Come on! We're nearly out of the storm zone. Make sure you don't get swallowed by the waves after making it this far. Colonel! I'm sorry.
your brother asked me to give this to you. I'm sorry it took me so long to do it. You should know. Steve gave his life to save mine. After the accident, I didn't have the courage to face you. I was afraid you'd hate me, would blame me for his death. I'm so sorry. I know it's been hard for you. I'm sorry I haven't been there for you. No more apologies, Ray. You saved me. You risked your life to fight for me. That's more than enough. Hey! 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 No! <laughs> he survived! Damn, this guy is unstoppable! <laughs>
It's been seven days since what's now being called the worst day in American history, and relief for the victims continues to come in at a fast pace. This afternoon, President Lewis visited the refugee center established at this stadium to inspect the victims' conditions personally. Giving Blue Ridge City Mayor Townsend a firm handshake, he promised to do all he can to pour in aid for the city's reconstruction. The city's residents have given the mayor heavy support for bringing in relief so quickly and for having saved so many of the city's people. President Lewis is apparently granting regular pensions to the families of the members of Surge who were killed. He says the previous administration was wrong to have done what it did. I see. What the Colonel and the others did was unforgivable. But that doesn't mean that everything they did was wrong. Yeah. I guess so. Sorry we're late, Steve. I've rejoined the rescue team. Really? Yeah. Even if you can't always save everyone, as long as there are people within reach, you have to try. <laughs> I guess I've had a change of heart. Just watch over me, buddy. Yes, this report is excellent. Well done. Excellent work, everyone. You should be very proud of yourselves. This situation was very trying for all of us, but together, we got through it. Mr. President. Hmm? What is it? Are you ready for this, sir? NASA just sent this over. This photo shows a newly discovered asteroid, sir. Asteroid? According to our scientists' calculations, there's a very high probability that this asteroid will strike the Earth. Then... It threatens to destroy all mankind, sir.